Hello everyone. Today we have three pieces of Happy Mail. I'm just keeping my arm there because there's a return address on this one. So I've got three things from three lovely viewers um, that they've sent to me as just really nice gifts. Um, two of them are diamond paintings and one of them is a really special gift um, which I will leave for the end because I actually need to plug it in to show you it properly. So I'm going to undo these first and we'll go from there but I will say the light in here today is ridiculously dark so I've got the lights on behind me yeah the light in here is quite bad today because it's um so dark seeing as it's almost winter now um so I apologize if the if it's if it's a little bit dark but we will open uh this one first we'll get this one open first so this um, diamond painting comes from a lovely lady called Tracy. She did show me the picture and offered what she because she offered to see if I wanted it first. Um, but because it's been quite a while, this one arrived first, and it's been quite a while since I've had it. I have actually completely forgotten what the <laughs> what the picture is. So it's going to be a really nice surprise to open it with you because it's going to be a surprise for me because I've completely forgotten. I'm pretty sure it's from Mary's Diamonds. Okay, so I'm feeling a little bit emotional at the minute. Um, when I opened this, there was a letter from from Tracy, and I wasn't I wasn't expecting it at all. Um, but I'm not I'm not going to say what was in the letter. But thank you, Tracy. I really appreciate it. It did it did help. Thank you very much. Okay, right. Feeling a bit calmer now, but thank you very much, Tracy. I really appreciate it. Right, so this came um, just in the box as it is, so there was no outside box. Um, so I'm going to undo all of this because it's going to be quite noisy, and then I will come back. So I was right, it was a Mary's Diamonds that I, because I, I was sure that it was a Mary's Diamonds that she showed me. So let's take a look. I'm not going to get all of this on camera, I don't think, in one go, definitely not. Wow, okay. This is awesome. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Okay, so these are the drills. There's an awful lot of drills. <laughs> and this is the tray. It's just a standard tray, so we won't need to look at that. Okay, so I've actually never done a Mary's Diamonds before. Um, so it looks like all of the drills come in single baggies, which is great. Try not to rustle. But here is the image. There's a woman with a skull. Is there a name? Oh, Rescue and Restore is the artwork name. You can see it there. Um, is there an artist's name? So the size of this picture is 60 by 80. It has 50 colours, the artwork is Rescue and Restore, and the artist's name is Brittany Hanks. So, let's get these drills out of the way for a second. And I want to go back to her face. Now this kit looks like it has a mix of confetti and colour blocking. So, the whole of the outside of her face is one colour. But when we move to the background, um, this bit's not too bad actually, I'd say it's more in the flowers here. This is going to be a little bit of confetti but not too much. So the canvas is a soft lint, but it's a thinner soft lint than Diamond Art Club, which is fine, absolutely fine. It's not the thinnest one I've ever seen. Um, it's actually really good. Why have I never ordered from Mary's Diamonds before? So we have a schematic on the side. It's weird because the canvas one side is white and then it goes pink round this side, which I've never seen before. And then the bottom of the canvas is a little bit more confetti, I'd say, compared to the top half. You've got another schematic on this side. You've got the details, share your magic with the world. Don't forget to tag us, Mary's Diamonds. Um, and then there is some sort of smiley faces at the bottom to give us a message about your positive experience so 
this actually looks really good just looking at it for the first time. Um, let's look at the symbols. So the symbols look really nice and clear. Yeah, so the symbols look great. Really nice and clear. No problems whatsoever. Let's have a look at the darker ones. Yep. They all look really nice. So I'm going to take a look at the drills now, I think. So I'm just looking at the um, drill information. We have one, two, three, four, five ABs in this kit, which is really cool. So I'm going to get them out now. I'm going to have a dig through because this bag is really, really long and they're all loose. I can see one right here though. This is number 39. It's a lovely pink AB. And I can actually see another one here as well. Oh, no, I think they might actually be all together, so we might be lucky. Another pink, just a lighter, lighter pink to that one. That one's more of a, what I would call uh, like a sexy pink. Did anyone remember back in the 90s where everyone had their bedroom this color? <laughs> um, them two and then oh there's another pink here this one's number 13 nice so we've got three pink ABs this one is a red lovely red AB I do love red and then we have a smaller bag of orange ABs so this is going to be full of lots of purples lots of pinks lots of reds I can already see that anyway. Um, let's have a look at a darker colour and see how the drills look. They actually look <clears throat> really good. And they have the pimples. I don't know if you can see, probably not. But they have the pimples, oh there we go, on the underside of the drills, which is a good sign. If you see that on, on drills, that means it's a good sign because it stops them from breaking more. The, they pin them in the factory um, and it helps to stop. Um, I can't remember if it's static or if it stops a bad drill. I can't, I can't remember, honestly I can't remember, but I know that having um, the little pinpricks on the underneath is a good sign for the drill quality. Uh, what else have we got here? This looks like 310, yeah it is. Let's see. I mean, it's hard to tell in such a big bag, but the drill quality looks great on all of these drills. Doesn't look like there's an issue at all. Can't really see any tabs whatsoever. And the best thing is, if you look, there's no static in the bags. So I can't see anything sticking to these bags, which is amazing because most of the time when you get kits that come in baggies like this, they can be quite staticky. So, I am super impressed with that. I'm going to move these drills and then give you one last look at the canvas before we move on to the next thing. Let's just take one last look at this beautiful canvas. So, we have flowers in the background, her blue hair, a beautiful face, really cool skull down here. And then she's got some sort of don't know if it's, if it's a tattoo or if it's just like graffiti on her chest. And then at the bottom, another flower and some sort of like abstracty shapes down here. I am really looking forward to this. So I can't really express how grateful I am for this canvas and the lovely gift that Tracy's given me. Um, but thank you. Thank you so much. I don't really know how else to say it. <laughs> It is, it is really lovely of you to send me this um, and I really do appreciate it. I need to do her soon because I need to see how good Mary's diamonds are because now, now you've sent me this, I'm going to have to go <laughs> look on their website um, and see what else they have because I'm really impressed with this. It looks really nice and there's not too much confetti for, for it being quite a busy background. There's not actually that much confetti. Like compared to um, the or lower one that I did not too long ago, it's not actually that much. So, 
Okay, so this one is from another lovely lady called Amanda, and I actually do know what this one is. Now there is something, I wouldn't say it's there's something wrong, but there's something missing from this kit. Um, so this is gonna be a project for me for the rest of the year to do for next Christmas. So basically there's a drill color missing from this and there's a lot of it in this kit. So it's an easy drill to come by. So what I'm gonna do is accumulate all the drills throughout the next year in 2024 and then hopefully do it for Christmas in 2024. Um, that's my goal. So I'm gonna get into this now. Look what it is guys, it's Harry Potter. So this one is all I want for Christmas. Now, I'm gonna take this out of the box and then come back because we don't have a lot of room here. Um, but I think you can probably guess what's the missing color. <laughs> so this is obviously from Diamond Art Club and it's a Harry Potter kit, um, all I want for Christmas. I've had my eye on this one for quite a while now, um, but never got round to buying it. I think it was more because it was a Christmas one um, and I don't, usually buy the Christmassy things but it is a beautiful kit absolutely beautiful and then there's a big one right. let's move these drawers for a second let me show you the bottom and it's got a frog it has got a frog now I'm getting a bit muddled up here so let me just roll that end it has a huge froggy. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, I think she might have put some in here. So there's 15 colors in this kit. Um, and the lovely lady that sent it to me, Amanda, did say that there was no 310. But there is some 310 in here. So I'm not sure if she's put them in because she's found them or if um, there's just some 310 missing. Because as there's only 15 colours, and this is basically all, pretty much all black. Well, the, the entire background is black and there's not that much other colours in here. So I'm going to get these out and see how many blacks are actually in here. Okay, so there's quite a few 310 in here already. But I just went back and looked at the messages that me and Amanda, well, me and Amanda were chatting about this kit. And there's actually, t so there's 10 bags missing of 310. So all I need to find is 10 bags of 310. And we all know how easy it is to get 310. If I go upstairs in my stash of spare drills, I'm pretty sure I've got about six or seven of them already. So the plan with this one is to just collect the 310 throughout the year and do it for next Christmas. Um... So what I'll do is show you the A and B because there's only, oh, there's two. So there's two A and Bs in here. So this is one and it's a lovely brown color. And then, oh, actually, no, I am talking rubbish. There is three and look at that gray. That is a lovely color. I don't know if I've seen a gray A, B yet. Really like that. And then we have just a small amount of red. So if you've never watched any of my videos before and this is your first time seeing me, I am a big Harry Potter fan. I have the Deathly Hallows tattoo. Uh, my favorite character is Snape. And I always thought I was a Slytherin. <laughs> but the last time me and my partner took the test, it turns out I'm a Hufflepuff. But I am a big Harry Potter fan and in my living room, um, if you've watched my first ever diamond painting video, if you haven't watched it, you can always go back to it. I put all of my diamond paintings, well, near enough all of my diamond paintings on the walls in my house. And my living room is like a Harry Potter theme. So it is sliver in colours, <laughs> even though I'm apparently a Hufflepuff. Um, but yeah, it's, um, if you go back to the first ever diamond painting video that I've done, you'll see it all. It's all like dragon themed and Harry Potter themed, witches and wizards. Um, and I'm still in the process of filling the wall. This one obviously is only going to be up for the Christmas month, but I am really looking forward to this and it is a beautiful kit. Um, I don't know why I didn't buy it before. <laughs> Maybe the black 310 put me off or because it was a seasonal one. I don't know, but it is so nice. And as always, with Diamond Art Club, symbols, 
are lovely and clear. Everything is beautiful. Canvas is lovely and soft. There's no problems whatsoever with this kit. And the fact that it's only got 15 colours means that it's going to go quite quickly. We've got um, the broom, the golden snitch, dobby socks, a wand. This is not... I think this is meant to be Harry Potter's jumper, but it doesn't have the H on it. And this, I think, is meant to be Neville's frog. Um, it is lovely. I really love it. And it will actually go quite quickly um, because of all the 310. It's beautiful. And I really do appreciate the gift. So thank you so much, Amanda. I will make sure I try and collect all the 310. Um, it's not going to be difficult. I will just put... Because as we all know, most kits come with 310 and most of my kits are from Diamond Art Club anyway. So I will be able to use Diamond Art Club 310 on this. It, it's not going to be a problem for me. Just quickly before I move on to the last thing, I forgot to tell you the size. It is 65 by 86 centimetres and it is a square. Okay, so the last gift that I need to show you is not Diamond Painter related. Why is my camera shaking? It's not diamond painting related, but it is related to me and the channel and what I do and the name. So it's a Christmas gift from my friend Anne. She is the moderator for all of the Facebook groups that I run and I also help her out with her Facebook groups. You can find all of the Facebook groups that I either that are mine or that I help run in the description below. Um, but she sent me this for Christmas and she sent it early and it is absolutely amazing. So you are going to see my camera and probably me in this reflection. <laughs> but look at that. It is my channel name. And it's actually a light. So I need to plug this in <clears throat> to show you how good this is. It's actually really cool. So I'm going to go find a plug right now and show you what it looks like. Okay, so ignore where it is. <laughs> it's sitting on my um, robot Hoover Steven, but the cord isn't long enough to show you where I normally record, so we're actually under the table. But look how cool that is. It is so beautiful. And I actually now need to rearrange this whole room to see if I can put this in the background. There is a remote um, that came with it so I can stop the flashing so it's not so distracting when I'm recording but you can have it like this if you want I think what I'll do is probably just find a colour and just leave it as a light in the background because I think if it's flashing like this it's going to be too distracting when I'm recording but it is beautiful and it did make me cry when I opened it <laughs> um, I am so thankful for all of you um, for just for watching um, but extra thankful to the people that um, send me so much love, even just by a message. You don't have to buy me anything or send me anything. It's just, it really, I really appreciate it. I really do. And it makes all the, all the work that I'm doing worthwhile, knowing that people are enjoying what I'm doing. And, and yeah, it's, it's amazing. <clears throat> I'm trying... <coughs> I kind of feel like I'm getting a frog in my throat. I think I'm getting too emotional. Okay, so I'm going to go before I start crying. Um, there is actually a cover on this um, to stop it from scratching, but because I haven't put it up yet, I haven't took it off. Um, so the, it, the, the mirror effect will be a lot more clearer when it's actually on the wall. Oh, I like the blue. The blue looks nice. I'll probably leave it like that just as a still colour so it's not flashing. But yeah, thank you so much to everybody and I will see you next week. Bye.